What bikes are the world's best cyclists going to be racing on for the 2024 races? Well, I am out here at the beautiful city of Adelaide, South Australia, for the Tour Down Under, which is seen as the season opening race for the men's and women's World Tour teams. So I'm going to head over, check out all the bikes, tell you all the little details, and we're going to run all the way through the 18 different men's World Tour teams. Unfortunately, not all of the women's World Tour teams are out here. So that is a video we're hoping to compile and get out in the coming weeks. Let's go find the bikes. Let's see the bikes and we're going to do so in alphabetical order. So Alpus in De Koenig first, where the team continue their partnership with Canyon Bikes. And the riders have got the choice between the Air Road and the Ultimate, finished with a vibrant iridescent purple and very blink bottle cages. They're still using Shimano Dura's group sets and wheels, which are fitted with the top spec Vittoria Corsa Pro tires. Arkea B&B Hotels next to have just a couple of changes this year. They're still using Bianchi's Ultra and Specialissima bikes, which are kitted out with Shimano Dura Ace. However, this year they have Vision wheels and Vittoria Corsa Pro tires. Astana Kazakhstan are using Vilia Falante bikes, which look largely unchanged for the 2024 season. These feature Shimano group sets and a very similar paint job to before, but this time they're using Vision wheels. These are the Metron 60 SLs. Bahrain Victorious are yet another team with a very shiny new paint job and not much else. It is, however, a neat setup, and whilst this bike has the Vision tubular wheels fitted to it and Continental's Pro Limited tubular tyres, almost all the riders are using the newer Vision Metron 60 SLs with tubeless Continental GP5000 STR tyres. They are of course also using Shimano Dura Ace group sets. Bora Hansgrohe next are riding the Specialized SL8, this year however making a significant switch to SRAM Red from Shimano Dura Ace. However, they retain all of their specialized components and accessories such as wheels, tires and finishing kits. Cofidis remain aboard the Look 795 Blade RS bike fitted with Shimano Dura Ace group sets, Corima wheels, Michelin tubular tires and Celitalia 3D printed saddles. Decathlon Ejitoir Le Mondial next are a team which see the most radical and exciting change to their setup in 2024, having made the switch to Van Rysel bikes now that Decathlon are their title sponsor. This is the RCR model and I've got to say I'm absolutely buzzing to see a more affordable priced bike raced at world tour level. With a change of bikes comes a swap from Campagnolo to Shimano group sets and the use of Swiss side wheels, a brand which is renowned for its aerodynamic expertise. Tires are Continental GP5000 STRs. Unfortunately, Team DSM Fermanek are a team that didn't have their brand new 2024 race bikes out here in Adelaide for the Tour Down Under. I can, however, tell you a little bit more about the bikes that they are going to be using. So they're going to be racing the Scott Foil RC with a brand new colorway for 2024. A nice grey with some subtle graphics added on. I'm quite a big fan of this, actually. Fitted to the bikes are Shimano Dura Ace group sets and Shimano's Dura Ace wheels. Fitted to the wheels are Vittoria Corsa Pro tires, and the bikes are built up with Syncross's finishing kits. EF Education and Easy Post continue to use the Cannondale Super 6 and System 6 bikes with their updated super slick paint jobs. These are built up with Shimano Dura Ace group sets, FSA cranks and Vision wheels and yet another team using the Vittoria Corsa Pro tyres. Group Armour FDJ next have made the switch from Lapierre to Villiers bikes. This is the Falante SLR and they're carrying over all other aspects of the bike setup. So that's Shimano Dura Ace group sets and Shimano Dura Ace wheels. They are, however, one of the few teams still running tubular tyres. The Ineos Grenadiers of 2024 are going to be riding, surprise, surprise, Pinarello's Dogma F. 
They have, of course, updated the colors to match their new kit, which is now more of an orange than their traditional red, and the paint is said to say 16 grams. After that, it's pretty much business as usual with Shimano Dura Ace group sets, Dura Ace wheels, Continental GP5000 STR tires, and Pinarello's in house most branded bar and stem combo. Intermarche Wanty next, they're going to be using the Cube Lightning Aero C68X, which is a pretty slick looking bike fitted with Shimano Dura Ace group sets and Newman wheels, which have got these super bold chrome graphics and cool hidden tubeless valves. The bikes should be pretty easy to pick out in the bunch with the fluoro bar tape and bottles used, which I think is a really smart move. Jayco Alula are rolling on giant bikes, and this is the Propel Advanced SL. These are kitted out with Shimano Dura Ace group sets and Kdex wheels, which feature carbon fiber spokes. No one piece integrated handlebar and stem here, but there is a focus on a long and narrow setup using a separate bar and stem combo, and the tires are Vittoria Corsa Pros. Lidl Trek have chosen to keep their bike setups pretty much as per 2023, riders having the choice between the Madone and Imonda. We've got no wild paint jobs here with pretty much stock red frames used again. However, the team do roll out some pretty slick looking Project One paint jobs for some of their star riders throughout the both men's and the women's teams. Fitted to the bikes are SRAM Red group sets, Bontrager Oulis wheels with Pirelli P0 TLR tires, and finished off with all things Bontrager. <music> Movistar riders this year will be continuing to ride the Canyon Air Road again for 2024. These are fitted with SRAM Red group sets, Zip 353 or 454 wheels and Continental GP5000 tires, a setup which pretty much carries over from 2023. So down quick step next, and we got minimal changes here for the 2024 season. And apart from the use of Shimano Dura Ace group sets, it's pretty much the specialized and Reval shape. So you got the SL8 frame, Reval wheels, Reval finishing kit, specialized tires, and of course a specialized 3D printed saddle. The team have gone far brighter with the frame color this year, and I think it's a very smart looking bike. Visma, Lisa by next, and again for 2024, they are going to be using Cervelo bikes. A mix of the R5 and S5 fitted with SRAM Red group sets and reserve wheels. The wheels are fitted with Vittoria Corsa Pro tires, and it's a setup which remains unchanged from the previous version. We just have a revised paint scheme. And finally, UAE Team Emirates are again using the Colnago V4 RS bike, kitted out with Shimano Dura Ace, and it's basically the exact same setup and spec as what they had last year. The difference here being that the MV wheels now use Envy's own hubs. Wheels are fitted with Continental GP5000 TTR tires, which are the lighter weight, faster rolling tires with reduced puncture protection. Well, there you go. Those are the men's World Tour team bikes from the 2024 season. Please do let me know in the comments section down below which bike is your favorite out of the whole lot. And also, if you want to see more cool bike tech related videos, you know what to do. Subscribe to GCN Tech and turn on your notifications. Right, see you back here in 2025. Adios, back to the UK now.